Hello everyone and welcome to something a little bit different today. Unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that the new trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 was released yesterday. A little bit early due to some unfortunate leaks, which makes this video considered late. But the trailer is full of so much detail and gives us a really good look at what we can expect from the next installment in the GTA franchise. I'm sure you've already seen a million different reactions and breakdowns of this trailer, but I thought I'd offer my unique insight with 8 years of GTA roleplay behind me. Having a look at the vehicles, locations, police departments, roleplay opportunities and more. So without waiting any further, let's jump into this. Alright, first of all, this opening shot here is absolutely gorgeous. Because of the prison there, with I assume what is some sort of freeway next to it, bridging over a water system, a river system of some kind. Sitting in the background, well, this it, it just shows immediately how diverse this map is going to be I and mean, we're not even three seconds into the trailer what i noticed next was is when we see the beach for the first time before we even get to see the sand we see what appears to be some sort of large luxury yacht sailing across with you just look at the wake there coming from the boat so much more advanced than gta 5 and anything else that i've seen from any other game since what else I can notice is a pack of dolphins, some turtles, some sharks, and a flock of pelicans flying past. It all looks amazing, and there's already so many animals, more animals already I think than I've ever seen in GTA 5. And as we get to the sand, look how many people there are, there are so many umbrellas. I'm already blown away by the what, by what we're seeing here, Before we, and we're only, what now, 10 seconds in. GTA 5 came out on Xbox 360, which had less than a gigabyte of RAM. Now we have consoles with DDR5 RAM in the tens of gigabytes. You can imagine how many leaps forward this game is going to be from GTA 5. Look how big that city is compared to Los Santos. Look how many skyscrapers there are. This is going to be such a fun map to explore, and it's going to take us years to learn the map. And hopefully, that means that Boat Boy will stop getting away from us in some pursuits when we move to uh, Vice City. The sheer number of skyscrapers that we can see here just blows us out of the water. Already, I'm pretty sure in this shot alone, there's more buildings than the entirety of Los Santos. And look how detailed each skyscraper is as well. You can see each one has balconies with furniture on them, rooftops. It's just gorgeous, and it's so, so satisfying to look at. Here we get to see some of the true diversity with the Everglades, or what I'm guessing is an Everglades-based swamp, and a fan boat. I've always wanted a fan boat in GTA 5, so I really hope that when we do get these, they somewhat work on land, because that would be absolutely hilarious to just be driving one of these down the street somewhere flamingos i love flamingos and i cannot believe they're going to be in gta 6 if you don't catch the streams too often then you probably don't know the flamingos used to be one of my favorite animals and crikey look you can see some crocodiles or i guess i guess they're actually alligators aren't they since this is based in uh florida in fictional florida um, looks like there's some cranes there off to the left and to the right I think you can see some ducks and if you look very very carefully there at the back you can see what appears to be a deer we're not even 20 seconds into the trailer and we've already seen more animals than GTA 5 more birds than all the GTA games put together so I really cannot wait to uh, see what else this game has to offer in terms of wildlife and everything else would you look how many people there are on this beach I hope there are this many people in game and this isn't just put on there for theatrical or trailer purposes there's so much detail looking over to the left you can see the person putting on sunscreen and on the right, yeah, there's a guy taking a photo of, um, what, 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 what is he taking a photo of? Also, doggy, a little baby chihuahua there in the middle. On a more interesting note, take a look in the background there. You can see there's a pickup truck backing up a jet ski trailer into the water. But what I assume is a lifeguard jet ski. Because that does look like a lifeguard pickup truck. 
Perhaps this means that we'll be able to load boats and jet skis on and off of trailers and transport them around the world in GTA 6 because from watching the trailer so many times now I have a feeling that boats are going to be a very very big part of GTA 6 so it would be quite useful to be able to transport them like that. Those umbrellas go all the way down the beach too. This is so cool. This, the, the render distance is phenomenal. You can also see some vehicles returning from GTA 5 and GTA Online. There's the Super Velito flying in in the center there. And off to the right, just above the pickup truck and trailer, you'll see the Sea Sparrow flying in as well. Uh, it's good to see some of the fan favorite vehicles from GTA Online, especially the air vehicles coming back in GTA 6 because that's something that GTA 5 in my opinion significantly lacked on launch was a variety of air vehicles. Now we can see what appears to be some sort of boat racing down by the port and you'll notice that the containers are actually being loaded off of that cargo ship there. What you'll also notice is that on the right there appears to be some sort of a new style boat which kind of reminds me of uh i don't know if any of you played hydro thunder hurricane on xbox 360 it sort of reminds me of one of the boats from that that sort of super fast speed boat which i think will be needed in gta 6 just based off of this trailer the size of the map is going to be huge and i think that water is going to be one of the key ways to navigate the map I really hope that we can hang out of the cars and dance like this or hang out, lean out of the cars and film like that guy up in that sports car up there uh, throughout GTA 6. I think that would be so much fun. Hanging out of the car dancing. Imagine not only the RP scenarios you could do that, but also just the fun times you could have with friends, just like the old GTA Online days. And also here we get a proper good first glimpse at what the lighting is going to look like at night in vice city and it looks absolutely gorgeous look at all of those buildings there those skyscrapers with the, just the random room lights on and that building there which i think some people have speculated is some sort of sports center with the uh, the abstract lighting and neon coming off of it I think we were all expecting such a visual upgrade from GTA 6, but I don't know if we were expecting it to be this gorgeous. I know so many people have commented on how stunning the visuals are from just the first trailer. I don't know if you guys remember the GTA 5 trailer when it came out to when it released on console, but there was huge difference in the graphic quality between the first trailer and the final product and i am sort of expecting but also don't know how it would be possible for the game to look any better but since it's not coming out for maybe another two years that um they've got something to work on because this game just looks absolutely stunning this right here looks to be some sort of car show i hope these are like uh ambient or random encounters or events that you can run into across the map where you can attend bring your own car or even just walk around and interact with uh, the locals here and uh, just be have fun as part of the car show look we can see low riders making a return i've never really driven a low rider in gta 5 so it's I'm, I'm, I'm don't really care too much about that but i know some people love it and were so excited when they came to gta online we also get a first look at a law enforcement vehicle here and it's a helicopter black or white or maybe a green and white livery perhaps it's based off of the miami dade police helicopter which you can see here and you'll see why i think that might be in in a minute also look look how bright and vibrant that street art is and the building design and the paint and everything like that some of you know i study design at university and i am an absolute sucker for bright and bold colors like that so i have a feeling that i personally am gonna absolutely love this map when i first saw this shot here it took my breath away and you know what i've probably watched the trailer 50 times by now and it still does it looks like it could be some sort of island between two parts of vice city just like these islands here in miami but it also looks like there's some sort of toll booth here just like from gta 4 and boy i hated those in gta 4 
It also looks like there are some yachts moving in the background there on the left and a super yacht on the right. And they're all moving. Hopefully that means that we can drive the super yacht. It'd be so much fun to have boat parties with friends and, and anywhere on the map, not just at a preset location. Another thing that stood out to me was the render distance of the cars. You can see there in the very, very far distance, you can see the brake lights and the general outline of the car. This is absolutely amazing and bounds ahead of where GTA 5 was at with their barely 200 feet render distance. This next scene here is, is equally as breathtaking. One of my biggest grievances with GTA 5 was the lack of nightlife. And they seem to have tackled that head on with GTA 6. Sports cars, busy crowded streets, neon signs. I'm sure they'll be bumping music as well. But also look at this guy and his pet iguana on the sidewalk there. I'm going to guess right now that he's probably going to be one of the strangers and freaks. But also, hopefully this means that we'll see some iguanas or other reptiles, not just the alligators, across the map as well. Also, is that is that Cheetah Classic there a reference to Miami Vice? Let me know what you think. See what I mean? Here you see a DJ at a nightclub just breathing life into Vice City. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. It was something that's completely missing in Los Santos. And I know in GTA Online, you have the nightclub DLC, but it's not the same having it in GTA Online as opposed to in single player as well. All right, here we see, again, the diversity that we can expect from this map. I assume that this is supposed to be a Leonidas version of the Florida Keys. We know that the keys are going to be in the map somewhere as they are referenced throughout the highway on the highway signs. And there is definitely going to be a jump onto and off of that abandoned bridge there on the right. There are also what appear to be some sort of smaller cargo trawlers, which again is just another example of something that brings life into Vice City. Now look at those hair physics. That's something that always griped me with GTA 5. Everyone appeared to be wearing a whole can of hairspray at any point in time. And I hope as well, because we have seen so many hairstyles already for the male characters in this trailer, we have some sensible hairstyles for male characters, not all crazy mohawks, afros, fades, or dreads. Because like, I, I mean, every cop in OCRP has the same damn haircut, because there are only like two sensible normal looking haircuts in gta 5. a lot of people are online are saying that this is lucia i don't see it maybe it's another character an in-game celebrity like laszlo from gta 5 or some kind of internet influencer because as you'll see later on and we'll break this down too there it's social media does appear to be quite a large part of uh of gta 6 which is very interesting okay this this is going to be my wallpaper for the next two years. This is interesting. Here we see what appears to be some sort of social media app. You can see there's a like and a comment button up in the top right, a follow button there. And, and it's very clearly in a vertical format. I hope this is something that's not necessarily a part of the core gameplay. There have been apps and things like this in the past. There's the dating site in GTA 4 and Life Invader in GTA 5. You, you do need for one or two missions here and there and you can access at any point in the game if you want to but it's not integral to the rest of the game itself there's no such side quest where you have to raise a certain amount of followers or anything like that i really hope that that's not something you have to do in this game because i remember when watchdogs made that a sort of a thing it became such a pain and a chore and I don't, unless they make it interesting somehow, or it's sort of like a natural progression, then I really don't see that being a good thing for GTA 6, personally. Let me know what you think though, and if that's something that you would like to see in GTA 6. And who knows, maybe I'm just the odd one out. I hope that for the love of God, crocodiles or, or alligators, sorry, can just show up anywhere on the map and you can try and catch it like in Red Dead Redemption or call the police. Uh, to come and deal with it finally something for fish and wildlife to do or i believe as they're called in uh in vice city in gta 6 poach i believe it's uh, it stands for protection of animals and controlled hunting 
if I'm not mistaken, and the the uniforms that you can see that guy wearing there are very similar to the fish and wildlife uniforms that Florida does have in real life. Just another law enforcement agency that I cannot wait to mess around with in, uh, in GTA 6. I wonder if they too will have their own vehicles that they get to drive, like a park ranger vehicle, or like the silver pickup that we have in OCRP now. I've seen videos of things like this in real life, the street takeovers, and just like the car meet earlier. I hope that this is a random event that you can come across throughout the game or throughout the map just in free roam. Uh, just make sure there are no Mustangs there and you should be safe. It looks like the 24-7 shifts are about to get a whole lot more interesting with a few different customers. But as I've said previously about some other things that we've seen in this trailer, I hope this isn't just a cutscene and is something that actually happens in the game and that you find alligators just anywhere across the map and they get you when you least expect it. Sort of like how the other uh, mountain lions do in, uh, in GTA 5 if you're in the county. Here is something that is really, really interesting. A body cam of a police raid. I'm almost 100% sure this is a cutscene or maybe a clip that you'd see on a Weasel News broadcast. It is cool as fuck though. And maybe it's a camera preset we could have a director mode. That would be so damn cool actually. Body cam patrols coming soon in OCRP. Maybe. Rockstar, please. I need this. Ooh, did you catch that? It's only on screen for a split second, but that's our first look at a police car in GTA 6. On the left, green and white police cars. More than likely based off of Broward County. Uh, especially with the dark green uniforms there too. Hopefully more than just a Charger, maybe an Explorer or a Tahoe style vehicle too. I guess we'll see that later on in the trailer. Uh, but he's uh, chasing down some random guy at a gas station. Uh, this is nothing new to GTA. We've seen pursuits and things happen ambiently in the world before. Again, this looks like a post on social media, so I'm not sure if anything like this exactly would happen in the game. But it's something definitely to keep your eye out for. And either you can help the cops and catch the bad guy, or you can have the bad guy and help him get away. I love the fact that there are definitely references to Florida Man throughout the trailer. That guy running from the cops, guy watering his lawn with just the golf hat and the thong on. Florida woman holding two hands saying, Well, look who's back. Next up, we see mud bogging. With the physics that we've seen so far, it looks like they're going to be much improved over Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. You can also see in the background some off-road looking vehicles. There seems to be some sort of Can-Am side-by-side. A super high lifted truck. And of course, everyone's favorite, monster truck. There you go. Two more cop cars just flew past. These ones are also green and white. Again, so based off of that Broward County Sheriff's Office, it looks like you have the uh, the GTA version of the Crown Vic, which is the Stania. And it looks so much better in this game. That was one of probably the biggest criticisms of GTA 5 from the roleplay community and the LSPDFR community was the fact that they tried to make it look like they were copying real life cars. But at the same time, it looked nothing like them as well. And that second one there, if you slow down, you can actually see there's a slanted truck on the SUV. So that could be your GTA law version of a Ford Explorer. From my recollection, this is the first time there's an Explorer style police vehicle in GTA. So that's really exciting to see as I was getting very, very tired of just the, of just the suburban looking SUV that we have in GTA 5 right now. You see that right there? That is a Florida Highway Patrol Challenger. Well, gauntlet probably since this is GTA, but still America's sexiest state police car features in GTA 6. They even have the amber lights in the light bar on the back. I love the black and tan and I can't wait to see it in game, but I hope for my sanity and the sanity of everyone else who hates the question of will Highway be getting a Challenger in OCRP? 
that there are more FHP cars than just the Gauntlets. Also, check out that guardrail damage. And those water barrels are crushed too. The water is also spilled out onto the road and you can see that the road is wet as a result. This is the first time that I believe we've seen any sort of deformity to a guardrail like that in GTA. I know GTA 5 has the crumple zones which are, uh, are movable and um, do absorb your impact and react to vehicle collisions. This is the first time that a static guardrail appears to be deformed and that could indicate that there is a lot more destructible objects across the GTA 6 map which again was one of mine and almost everybody's big biggest criticisms of GTA 5. However, in hindsight, looking at the hardware capabilities they had at the time of the Xbox 360, it's no surprise to me that a majority of the map was static. Look at these bikers here having some fun. Reminds me of those videos you see online of those massive groups going around cities and freeways. Also the birth of one of my favorite clips of all time. And here we see more cop cars. Wow, would you look at that? In the middle there, you can see what appears to be another Broward County Sheriff looking car. And either side of that looks like a, looks like a Miami Dade police car. Uh, that's where I got the idea earlier, as you may remember, of the Miami Dade police helicopter. The two white vehicles look like they could be a tourist based vehicle, perhaps an updated version of the ones we already have in GTA 5 right now. Again, just like the car meets, the street takeovers and other things before that, I hope these are ambient events that we can partake in or even just spectate them as they happen across the map throughout free roam or online even. While I'm 99% sure this isn't a cutscene, wouldn't it be cool to see the characters react to the way you're driving? Say you're drifting around a corner just like this in free mode and your passenger grabbed onto the car frame or a handle to stabilize himself. Wouldn't that just add so much more depth to the game? It's incredible to always already see that they're adding that sort of detail into something that's more than likely a cutscene. But I just can't wait to see the amount of detail that we could get even in free roam. Is that? No, it can't be, is it? And that's it, coming 2025. Can't believe we're gonna have to wait two years to actually get our hands on this. I'll be 22 years old by then. I'll have finished my degree. I might even be finished my masters by then. It was also confirmed in a press release from Rockstar the game will be launching on PlayStation 5 on Xbox Series X. There's no mention as of yet of a PC launch, which I think everyone was expecting from Rockstar, but we still held out hope that maybe, especially with the recent acquisition of 5M, that they might just, in the goodness of their hearts, release GTA 6 on PC at the same time as consoles instead of double dipping in their sales. It could be 2026 by the time that we get access to it on PC and another year still until we see mods or even RP servers available. But what's next? How long will we have to wait until we see another trailer? That's a complicated question and the true answer is nobody knows except for Rockstar. But what we can do is take a look to Rockstar's past to make a guess. From Rockstar's YouTube page, you can find the first GTA 5 trailer released on the 2nd of November in 2011, 22 months before the release of the game. That's about where we are now. We're less than two years away, in my opinion, from the release of the game, as I'm sure they're aiming to release it before the holiday season in 2024. And we've just seen our first sneak peek of the game. The gap between the first GTA 5 trailer and the second GTA 5 trailer was 18 months, according to what's currently on the Rockstar YouTube page. However, if we look at a more recent Rockstar release, Red Dead Redemption 2, we can see that the first announcement trailer was released on the 21st of October 2016, and the second trailer 11 months later on the 29th of September 2017. 
So what does that mean? My best guess is that we will see another trailer sometime in the next 12 months. Maybe in the second half of 2024. But would Rockstar really make us wait that long? If there's anything I and everyone else has learnt in this everlasting wait for GTA 6, is that the answer to that question is yes. Yes, they are more than happy to make us wait. Thank you all for watching. I know this is a different kind of video. I've also thought about making a breakdown of all the cars from GTA 5 that we can see in the trailer. The ones that we do know, the ones that we don't know, and what they could be based off. Maybe a video of exploring the map a little bit. I'm sure the Reddit detectives out there have already got a comprehensive map of what we can expect from in-game. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like on this video. I worked really hard on it to get it out in a timely manner for you guys. I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you again for some regular programming soon. Bye-bye.